Ivy here, everyone, Poacher here with an Age of Magic video. And in today's video, we're jumping into Cradle of Chaos, Darkness of Chaos, level one. The idea of these videos is we're going to try and get some of the best scores possible, showing you the teams to use and how to use them because there's a lot of strategy that comes in to getting the best scores. So we are jumping into Darkness of Chaos. Level one, as you can see, it's not being completed. These will be the five missions we do. So let's get into it. Moving into level one or mission number one, it is one wave. We are going for a Thane Arg leader with a Fyra support. Dragon Kin, there we go. We want the Fyra. And we're going for the Wombo Combo, Children of the Forest, Pride, and Stealthy. So we're looking for an AoE hit here and then the support from the Stealthy to come through and kill everyone. So we'll take this down to a medium speed. And here we go with our AOE, bang, and then unfortunately we don't get the support attack, so we'll come back when we get it. Jumping into battle, we're going to go ahead and use Thane Arg's AOE, and jumping into battle, we're going to go ahead and use Thane Arg's AOE. Jumping into battle, we're going to go ahead and use Thane Arg's AoE. Jumping into battle, we're going to go ahead and use Thane Arg's AoE. And there we go. We don't need the support attacks. If your Thane Arg is strong enough, he can get the kill himself. But if he is not, then you do need the Stealthy and the Pride in there to get the support attacks in giving us one point for mission number one, and now moving on to mission number two. Moving into mission number two, we are using one hero, Tiona, and we're looking for three points in this. We're going to detonate the charges on wave one, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. So we detonate the charges, as you can see, Zart lives. So we'll come back when we get the rotation, or the RNG we need to pass this. Jumping into battle, we're going to go ahead and detonate the static charges. Then we're going to use our second to increase the static charges on the enemy. And watch as the charges go rampant. There we go. We're going to go ahead and use our basic now. And boom, three turns. Nice and simple. Not really. There's a lot of RNG. Uh, Tiona fights are always RNG dependent. They're toxic. But if you're patient, you can get some of the best scores. With just that single character she is by far a top tier credit of chaos character for sure moving on to mission number three it is one way we're going for two points and again this is a rng mission so i mean if we can get it first go that would be amazing we're going for a rhiannon leader then we are going for a morrigan then we want a churiston then we want so so many random heroes how people find these is absolutely baffles me we want to go and get a not siri we want a scara 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 and then we also want druids Emma. okay so we're hoping for a morrigan support attack is what i'm assuming um we're going to go ahead and use our aoe here from our that's not our aoe uh we'll use our second ability here and see just what happens yes yeah, so that's what we're looking for that support attack from the morrigan i used the wrong ability there but you're meant to use scar as aoe and then you're looking for the support attack from the morrigan so we'll come back when we get the kill jumping into battle we're going to select the azario use our aoe from scar kill the azario or and get the support attack from the morrigan if we can get that again there we go nice beautiful now there's several ways that battle can come you can have the tristan's aoe ability awakened which sometimes can remove the azariel immortality i think it's called immortality um or death immunity and that can bypass that so if you're struggling with this you are struggling to get that azariel killed on the first go which is completely rng there is a bypass to it as well. But that completes mission number three. Two missions left. For the fourth mission, again, we're using a slightly hybrid team. Mainly one team, the Van Nors. We're using the Starbold. We're using the Freyhel, the Greta. 
or Gerda, 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 Halus, and then for the final character, we are not needing to search, we're using Teodor. So we're looking for a two turn kill here, which is two AoE abilities. So we'll jump into battle, we're gonna use Freyhel's AoE, get some big damage there, use Teodor's AoE, and nope, we'll come back when we get it. So we're gonna to have to try and kill the Azari. The Azari is gonna to have to die so that the passive does not activate. Jumping into battle, we're gonna go ahead and use our AoE from Freyhel. Get a nice bit of damage out there. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our AoE from Teodor as well and get the kill. Nice, giving us a two point score for that, leaving the final mission left. Let's go and do it. Final mission is going to be done in six turns. We are looking for a Roxanne leader. We are looking for an Astoria and an Ever. Where is my Astoria? Should be somewhere. There we go. There are the three Cloud Wanderers. Then we are looking for a Librarian. And finally, the Beastman Fox. Beastman, Beastman, Beastman. Sooner. Okay, so let's jump into battle. We're looking for six turns. It is three waves. So we're going to go ahead and buff our stats there. Get the AoE out from the... Librarian moving into the second wave. We're going to go ahead and use our AoE here as well. Get some support attacks from the Sooner. We're going to go ahead and hide. Use our AoE from Ever. And we are going to be short in turn. So we'll come back when we get the kill. Jumping into battle, we're actually going to use Astoria's basic attack, not her other ability. We get some decent Damn stacks here. We're at 11 stacks already. Moving into the second wave. We're going to go use our wings from our, our librarian there. We're going to go ahead and just use our basic to get four turns. Moving in, we've got two turns to play with. We're going to use our AoE from our um, Fox, our Sooner, and we're going to finish with a basic and get the double proc. We don't need the double proc. We get it in six turns. Beautiful. That is awesome. That is a, a little bit of RNG to that. That was actually the easiest. We got that done the quickest out of all the missions, completing level one of region three, giving us the best score we can possibly get. If there's better out there, I am unsure of it, but there you go, level one completed with a 3986 score. And that is how you do it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I will answer it to the best of my ability. And wherever you are in the world, until next time, Please take care of yourself.